Welcome, welcome, and today I have a game of Mission Domination that went extremely well for myself. Uh, my final score was 57 and 2, and yeah, I was using a very similar class to the one I had on Ewok, just no gold camo. Scavenger Assassin sit rep, uh, M4, Red Dot Silence, C4, and Stun for some reason, with a 44 Magnum. Uh, attack knife, I believe. I believe. So, I'm playing in a party of six, I want to say. I want to say six. It's five or six. I'm not 100% sure. We had a five man for a while, then got the six man earlier today. So, we start off on the good spawn for once on this map. And, yeah, that really does help. I ended up going back for Charlie here, just in case, because I did see that there were people around here. But my team got it, so it's all good. So I'm heading back over to the head glitch area, but I go past it. And I catch that guy right off his <clears throat> right off his sack insert, so that worked well. And a triple predator missile. Which was quite nice. And here I actually come back to the head glitch and pull off the Reaper. So, Reaper, well, you know the map, so it does the work that it needs to do to get me to my pave flow. Recently, I switched to the pave flow. Uh, I decided that it's better off for high scores if I am out of, like, out on the ground running so I can get another kill streak out. And the pave flow usually gets more kills than the AC-130 would because maps aren't very accommodating to the Reaper and AC-130 normally. And it turned out to be a good decision in this game because my Pavlo got a ton of kills. <clears throat> Actually got two matches in a row. The one after this was like 43 or something in two. Uh, with the same setup, so that will be used as well but they ended up shooting down one of my reapers before I got a kill got a hit marker but no kill in there that was just a bad decision on my part but you know it's all good <clears throat> so I am getting a bunch of pavlo kills here the pavlo just goes to town all the time and it's not a rare streak for me to get so the five nine twelve. Um, recently, I used, started using five nine twelve. Well, not recently, but in the past couple of weeks. Um, I find that I don't really need the helicopter to get me to my reaper. Like it's one or two extra kills for me to get with my gun. That is of no issue for me. Um, I don't know. I like the five nine twelve. The helicopter gets shot down really easily. Normally, I got one or two kills with the predator missile anyway so it works out <clears throat> and this game <laughs> we were actually fighting for air support like the airspace at the end we had an AC-130 and a reaper out like my reaper and zombies AC-130 then another guy had a reaper waiting I think his reloads I'm not 100% on that though and I got two pave lows so it worked out quite well um, on this map you'll see I prefer to stick to the left rather than go into the middle. The middle is a death trap I find. And the left you have a couple good head glitches. Like this one here and the one out back here. So, it's quite nice. Here I spot the double but only get a single. I don't know why. Got the assist as well, so. Kinda sucks, and... I'm two off my next Reaper, so obviously I'm going to slow down a little. <laughs> a bunch of my kills ended up getting stolen, I'm not sure. No, I don't get this Reaper. I get grenaded there, yep. That was pretty lame. I remembered being unhappy about that, because that grenade was not meant for me. Meant for the guy next to me. But, we're holding the spawn quite well here. And... 
me continue to do so. It's rare for us to actually flip the spawn. Usually, if it happens, we get it right back. Like, they'll take the C or A, whichever. They got flipped off of them, we'll go back to of us and kill the guys and take it. It doesn't take very long. Though I find interchange harder to get the spawn trap going if you lose it. Because you have to go back for C and they'll just camp C out. <clears throat> this was the scary part for me. I ended up getting shot as I brought in my Pred. I thought I'd died, but somehow I managed to stay alive. I think a teammate came and killed the guy. So, it worked out quite well. And here's where a bunch of my kills ended up getting swollen. I had seven assists in total, and a couple of them were right here. It always happens when I'm close to a Reaper, my next kill streak, really. There's another one. And there's an AGM out right now. Mm. Stun that guy. C4 him and get a hit marker. Nothing was going well this game, so I come back and take cover, waiting for him. Hoping to get something, but it doesn't actually come. I get the next guy. Head back to the cover, and I get an assist. And then, if that grenade killed me, I would have been unhappy. But I really like the M4. It's one of my better weapons. It usually is an easy one for me to get gameplay with, and I got it to level 30 today. Got my P90 almost level 31, and I got my 50 cal gold yesterday. The gold 50 cal is pretty sexy. But I've stopped using it for now. I'm using the AS50, but I don't really like the zoom. Isn't like the magnification isn't as high and that bothers me but it's all good and there's my next pave low so it's all good there and yeah hmm. so I'm running out of ammo here the game's coming to an end so, it doesn't really matter. And run out, and we do steal that sentry gun. <laughs> Sit rep allows me to see that, so, like, four of us called out that it was real, because a bunch of us just run the sit rep all the time. And, yep, yeah, the game is slowly coming to an end. We're at 191, and it was just a slaughter fest. We didn't quite two to one them in points, but it was close. So, still a pretty good beat down. Mm. Just run down the right side here, get a pred, try to call it in, and the game ends. Alright, guys. So, final score 57, 7, and 2. Uh, with an M4, red dot, and silencer. And my payload does get the last kill. Uh, I will talk to you guys again soon, I would imagine.